the beat of the drum calls thousands of people to demand a new mascot for Washington's National Football League team. The Minneapolis protest draws a Native American family. It's important to me and, and my daughter's here and she's really excited about the whole thing. She's out there chanting and hey ho, you know, the name's got to go and all stuff. So it's good to be here with her. I didn't expect as many people to come. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. I'm Mike Laverger. I'm uh, president and owner of uh, First American Design Studio. Mike Laverger calls himself a tribal advocate. He's a Native American architect. Every day we're working with tribes and it's important work. Um, there's not more than a couple handfuls of Native American architects in the country. On this day, Lavender is leading an unusual meeting, interviewing construction firms to build an office warehouse for a Native American company in a project involving multiple Native contractors. So we have construction engineers, Native American, mm -hmm. Native American, Dave's Native American, uh, Ron Melcher, so our landscape, he's Native American. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, a large Native American team with us building together. As a member of the Chamber of Commerce, the Minnesota American Indian Chamber of Commerce, I'm really big on by Indian. So um, I try to do that myself when I hire my consultants. Lavender has been involved with the American Indian Science and Engineering Society for 30 years. These buildings that we live in every day, 80% um, of your day, 90% of your day is in a building, either your house or school or work. Um, and they're being designed by non-natives. This is the one place we're very proud of. That isn't the case at the new Bad River Ojibwe Health Clinic designed by Laverne. Well, because we wanted to bring our people here and I think they deserve to have the same amenities that other people have at other clinics. We love it because it's, it's wonderful for our patients. They love it. We, we have enough room to make them comfortable. On a sunny day, this is well lit. It's beautiful. The clinic has cultural touches basket textured walls, display cases, and extra room. To accommodate native families and the culture and how we, t we tend to come in groups. The main waiting area doubles as a community meeting place and a drive up pharmacy window may be the most popular feature. While the project was underway, clinic director Deb Tudor appreciated Mike Lavender's experience and his flexibility. You need somebody who's going to be supportive and have ideas and work with you. It's, it's a good thing being out here in, in Indian country more or less and helping out with all these projects. So Power for Hope is one we do. Um, we do the golf tournaments at all these different tribal organizations. Lavender's company donates regularly to tribal and nonprofit groups. Mike has been a generous supporter of the American Indian Cancer Foundation and through our Power for Hope. We're really proud to know Mike and um, for him being selected for this prestigious award with ACES. In his actions, as well as his architecture, Mike Lavender's advocacy shines through. But the day I came in when it was completed, I was, I was like on television, it was like, wow, and I stopped. And I said, Mike, that's the most beautiful one I've ever seen.